This is a, a demonstration of a new program called uh, Neuralink, produced by Applied Neuroscience Incorporated. It's a, a self-assessment questionnaire program that uh, allows clinicians to evaluate the severity of symptoms. Very efficiently evaluate that severity by having the patient or client uh, uh, fill out a 55-item symptom severity questionnaire. Uh, after which, in this case this is the patient, after which a bar graph will be shown, a horizontal bar graph and radar maps of the relative ranking of the severity of the symptoms. This is important information because the clinician can then immediately launch NeuroGuide, uh, use the patient's own EEG to, to identify dysregulated nodes and features of the EEG that are linked to the patient's symptoms. Uh, the clinician will launch NeuroGuide and bring up the uh, symptom checklist and then click on uh, NeuroLink, navigate to where you saved this information that the patient provided, uh, his own self-assessment of the severity of symptoms, bring that into the symptom checklist, and then click on the symptom that's most severe. In this case, it's attention. Uh, and so if you as a clinician want to work on the attention network, you click of the attention, and you select the attention network and the NeuroGuide symptom checklist, and immediately the Broadman areas and the connections between the Broadman areas of the attention network that are linked to the patient's symptoms are displayed. And this way, one can now uh, link a patient's symptoms to the patient's brain and identify the nodes and connections between nodes that are most dysregulated, and then begin neurofeedback to reinforce uh, increased stability and increased efficiency of uh, information processing in those nodes and connections that are related to the patient's symptoms. Uh, one simply then clicks OK. A protocol is immediately produced. One then activates uh, neurofeedback, it could be uh, surface neurofeedback or uh, uh, Loretta neurofeedback, or Broadman areas themselves, or Brain Surfer, which is Brain Computer Interface. This is an image from Brain Surfer down here. Uh, you can use any of these programs. Brain Surfer uh, is a, a program that uh, the patient is required to try to make all these connections green, which is uh, at threshold or less than threshold, moving towards increased stability and efficiency of information processing in the nodes that are linked to the patient's symptoms. Uh, one can also, with Neuralink, uh, take multiple sessions uh, or measures of the patient's symptoms and severity symptoms over treatments or over sessions and plot them in line graphs as well as a bar graph in which the, uh, the radial axis is the severity of the symptom, the colors are the sessions here, but the goal is to shrink these symptoms towards the center where there is very minimal symptomology. And this gives immediate feedback to the clinician as to the relative e efficacy of their treatment uh, and also to identify any particularly troublesome symptoms that the clinician then is guided to work on and to prioritize uh, as to target uh, dysregulation in those parts of the brain uh, that are most troublesome to the patient. So this arrow shows this type of circular iteration that can happen with uh, Neuralink. Now, the purpose of this uh, video is to uh, introduce you to how you uh, start Neuralink and the procedure is to first purchase Neuralink uh, and by going to the, the website which is at uh, uh, www.aninuralink.com and you purchase the uh, amount of assessments that you wish and when you then do that and you launch, or you can do it before, you can, do, you can launch Neuralink before, you will get this window. This window appears only one time. Uh, it's once you're registered to the uh, server, then this window will not appear anymore. But at, when you do register it, uh, or before you register it, you purchase, and it's, and it's not been registered yet, you do have this key A that you need to copy and paste into an email to nla at uh, aninuralink.com or create a text file and attach the text file to an email to, a, a, to nla at aninuralink.com and uh, 
So after payment of Neuralink assessments, an activation on the server will occur, and then you'll be good to go. You'll be able to also enter the demo mode here to learn about uh, Neuralink. Uh, there's another video that goes through the demo mode. Uh, and also one can, uh, in addition, uh, create uh, or actually, uh, you know, you can exit and then start over when you're ready. Uh, and if we click here, we enter the demo mode. We have an existing patient. Uh, this is the patient information. If you weren't in the demo mode, then uh, this new patient uh, button would be open. Uh, and uh, if you then click start, the patient information now that is available from that patient that you had assessed in the past, uh, the first name, last name, subject ID, date of birth, gender handedness, clinician medication, etc. is available. Uh, then you click next. And the symptom checklist uh, is here, uh, 55 items in which the uh, client or patient will rank order the severity of these different symptoms by clicking on this bar or moving uh, the uh, indicator towards either never, rarely, sometimes, often, or always. In this case, uh, uh, this is an addiction uh, item. I have cravings for alcohol or drugs. The patient will uh, then self-assess that. I usually deny having problems. Uh, that's a social issue. I am easily distracted. That's a part of the attention uh, category of symptoms. People usually have to repeat words to me. That's a, mer a memory one. Uh, and there's a sense for them for balance and blurred vision. There's a pain one, etc. So I'm slowly going through this to show the various um, uh, categories of the symptom checklist. And uh, all of these must be filled out. If one is not filled out and is failed to fill out, this will turn yellow and there will be an error message saying you must go back and fill them out. So once the patient has filled up all of these symptoms and rank ordered them, uh, then they're ready to go. You click Next. And now immediately the uh, bar graph, horizontal bar graph, is displayed showing the uh, relative rankings of severity for the 10 categories of uh, symptoms that were derived from the 55 item questionnaire, which is addiction, anxiety, attention, compulsive problems, depression, executive disorders, memory, pain, sensory problems, and social skills problems. So now that you've got that, you can, you can see immediately which symptom is most troublesome for your patient, and you can talk to the patient about that and, and make sure that the assessment is honest. This is uh, always a, something clinicians must use, and this is one test among uh, several that the clinician uses to derive an estimate of the severity of the patient's problems. Then there's also a radar map that shows the uh, degree to which there's deviation uh, from uh, or the severity of the symptom. And the radar map uh, has got the 10 dimensions uh, on the radio on the outside. And the uh, in this case, you can see that the attention is most deviant at 85. Uh, memory is the next. And this is just another replotting of this horizontal uh, bar graph, but it's very intuitive. And uh, there's, and I'll show in a minute, the uh, same bar graph over sessions. You can see immediately uh, how many, what kind of change there is. And in this case, you would hope that this would diminish uh, towards uh, no symptoms of, uh, over sessions. Uh, you can save this by clicking Save and then navigating to the patient's folder. Uh, the, and then saving it in the patient's folder. I'll just call this Temp. Uh, it, it is uh, important always to save it in, in the patient's folder. Uh, and I'm going to go to the desktop and save it there. And this message will appear uh, that all information for the subject will be saved at, and it gives the, in this case, the desktop folder. Is this correct? Well, you really want to have this in the patient's folder. It's just a safeguard so that you're sure you save all of the self-assessment scores in the patient's folder uh, so that you can uh, be efficient and, and retrieve that information when you need it, import it into NeuroGuide, 
and efficiently begin neurofeedback based upon the symptoms that are most troublesome to the patient. We um, can then click uh, cancel, return to the uh, this screen here. This is all in the demo. I'm going to click view history, uh, then I'll click start. And in this case, the, there's a dummy data showing uh, the history of sessions in a line graph with the 10 different categories of uh, symptomology. Here there's just four sessions. But in this case, with this dummy data, you see it decreasing, the severity of these symptoms decreasing over sessions. In addition to that, uh, you can see the uh, history of severity uh, in the uh, radar map. Uh, you can, uh, in the previous slide, as I mentioned, you can save. You can also save this, and you can print it in the previous a single session display, you can print that as well. Uh, sessions are different colors, and the uh, legend here shows the different sessions with dates and times for those sessions, and they're, everything is ordered by date and time uh, of sessions, so you can see the progression of change uh, as a function of treatment uh, on neurofeedback. And again, the goal here is to reinforce increased stability and efficiency in networks and the parts of the brain related to the patient's symptoms, especially those symptoms that are most troublesome. And over time, you would want to see uh, a contraction of this, these symptoms towards uh, reduced symptomology uh, as a function of the number of uh, training sessions. And so this is very important information. Uh, it allows you to print it out and show it to the patient. Uh, so the patient can see uh, how uh, they changed compared to the first time they came in, uh, the first session, and how they have changed over sessions. And also to be able to work with the clinician to identify other symptoms that may emerge in the course of the treatment that now are more troublesome and that a, 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 st a strategy can be worked out to uh, then work on different uh, networks uh, and uh, that uh, have different uh, value to the patient uh, in the course of the treatment. So this is Neuralink. It is available uh, on www.aninneuralink.com uh, uh, and uh, it uh, is a standalone program uh, that is independent of NeuroGuide but provides a linkage to NeuroGuide by saving uh, sessions and importing is many se any given session. Each session you have, a, have the opportunity to select a given session to work on inside of NeuroGuide to do neurofeedback. Uh, and you can select any of these 10 categories and immediately create a protocol uh, of Brodmann areas or surface EEG measures uh, or uh, uh, brain surfer measures that are, represent uh, the most dysregulated nodes and connections in the brain uh, linked to the patient's symptoms.